Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to Scotty B Show. So we're recapping the games from Thursday, March 28th. Opening day for most. Uh, there was two teams, San Diego and Los Angeles Dodgers. They played in Korea. They played two games. They split split the games. So for everybody else, it's opening day. So to start start uh, scoring off today, Detroit at Chicago White Sox. Tigers scored a run in the third, and that's all they needed. It was one nothing Detroit. Six hits, no errors for the Tigers. Three hits, no errors for the White Sox. Winning pitcher was Turk Skubal, and losing pitcher is Garrett Crochet. And Jason Foley gets the save. Uh, ben has got the only RBI of the game for the Tigers. And Skubal went six innings, gave up three hits. Nowhere in runs, struck out six. Uh, for the White Sox, uh, Jimenez went one for three. And Crochet went six innings, five hits, one earned run, struck out eight. So he had a good day. Tigers got that one run. That's all that was needed in that game. And so, again, the final score, Detroit one, Chicago White Sox zero. Okay, so next game up, Chicago Cubs at Texas Rangers. Rangers, of course, a winning World Series team. From last year. And Rangers scored one in the bottom of the tenth, so they went extra innings as the Rangers win it four to three, three hits, six errors, six hits, excuse, three runs, six hits, one air for the Cubs, four hit, runs, eight hits, one air for the Rangers. Winning pitcher is David Robertson, and losing pitcher is Drew Smiley. Uh for the Cubs, uh, Morrell went two for five with the run scored, and Steele went four and two-thirds innings, gave up three hits, one and run, struck out six. On the Rangers side, Garcia went two for four with the run scored, one RBI, while Evaldi went six innings, gave up four hits, two and runs, three strikeouts. So again, the final score, Texas Rangers in 10 innings, four to three. All right, next game up, Minnesota Twins at Kansas City Royals. Twins winning 4-1. to one. They scored a run in the first, a third, and two runs in the ninth. The Royals got one in the first. Four runs, ten hits, no errors for the Twins. One run, five hits, one error for the Royals. Winning pitcher is Pablo Lopez. Losing pitcher is Cole Reagans. And the save went to Griffin Jacks. Uh, Korea for the Twins went three for four with two RBIs. And Lopez went seven innings, gave four hits, one earned, seven strikeouts. For the losing team Royals, Garcia went one for four with a run, RBI. And Reagans went six innings, five hits, two earned runs, nine strikeouts. Again, the final score, four to one Minnesota over Kansas City. Okay, next game up, Washington Nationals at Cincinnati Reds. Reds scored three in the third, four in, I'm sorry, three in the second, four in the third, one in the eighth. But Washington could only muster two runs in the seventh as Cincinnati wins at eight to two. Two runs, six hits, no errors for the Washington. Eight runs, ten hits, one error for the Reds. Winning pitcher was Frankie Montez, and losing pitcher was Joshia Gay, Gray, excuse me. Uh, Rosero went one for three for Washington with the one run scored, two RBIs. Gray went four innings, gave up eight hits, seven earned runs, six strikeouts for the winning team Reds. Martini went two for four, two runs, five RBIs. Montez went six innings, four hits, no earned runs, four strikeouts. Again, that final score, seven to one Cincinnati over Washington, or excuse me, eight to two Cincinnati over Washington. Hey, first, first time. Okay, next game up, New York Yankees at Houston Astros. There you go. Yankees scored three in the fifth, one to six, one to seventh. Astros scored three in the first, one in the second, as the Yankees win it, five to four. Five runs, eight hits, no errors for the Yankees. Four runs, 13 hits, no errors for the Astros. Winning pitcher is, uh, <clears throat> I don't know everybody's name yet, Jonathan 
Let's see. And losing pitchers, Ryan Presley. Save went to Clay Holmes. So for the Yankees, Cabrera went two for four, two runs and an RBI. Cortez went five innings, five hits, four and runs, five strikeouts. For the Astros, Diaz went three for four, one RBI. And Valdez went four and two thirds, five hits, three earned runs, five strikeouts. Again, the final score, New York five, Astros four. Okay, so next game up, we're going out to L.A. Los Angeles Dodgers are at home against the St. Louis Cardinals. Cardinals scored a run in the fourth. Dodgers scored two in the first, three, third, one in the sixth, one in the seventh for their home opener. As as I said, they played the Padres in Korea two games already, so they upped the record to two and one as they went at seven to one. One run, three hits, no errors for the Cardinals. Seven runs, ten hits, one error for the Dodgers. Winning pitcher is Tyler Glasnow. Losing pitcher is Miles McCullis. Save goes to Ryan Yarborough. First save of the year. So for the Cardinals, Goldsmith went three for four with the run in RBI. McCullis went four and a third, seven hits, five earned, five strikeouts. For the Dodgers, Freddie Freeman, two for three, two runs, three RBIs. Uh, Glasnow went six innings, two hits, one earned, five strikeouts. So again, the final score, L.A. Dodgers 7, St. Louis Cardinals. Okay, for the next game, it's the other team that's already played two games, San Francisco at San Diego. San Francisco scored a run in the third, two in the seventh, one in the ninth, while the Padres got two in the fifth, four in the seventh, as the Padres win this game six to four in their home opener. Four runs, nine hits, one error for the Giants. Six runs, nine hits, no errors for the Padres. Winning pitcher is Masuki. And losing pitcher Luke Jackson. The save goes to Robert Suarez. And for for the Giants, Conforto went three for four, three runs, one RBI. While Webb went six innings, five hits, two earned runs, five strikeouts. For the Padres, Bogardis went two for four with a run to RBI. And Hugh Darvish went five innings, five hits, one earned, seven strikeouts. As the Padres win their home opener, six to four over the San Francisco Giants. Okay, next game up, Pittsburgh at Miami. Pittsburgh scored two in the third, two in the seventh, one in the eighth, and one in the twelfth as they went 12 innings. Miami scored two in the second, two in the third, one in the fifth. As the Pirates beat Miami, six to five, six runs, nine hits, one error for the Pirates, five runs, eight hits, one error for the Marlins. Winning pitch, excuse me, winning pitchers, Luis Ortiz. The loss goes to Cronin, and the save goes to Jose Hernandez. Reynolds for the Pirates went two for five with the run, two RBIs, with Keller went five and two thirds, seven hits, four earned, three strikeouts. For the Marlins, Berger went three for four with the run, three RBIs. Lazardo went five innings, two hits, two earned runs, and eight strikeouts. Again, that final score, Pittsburgh six, Miami five. All right, this takes us to Toronto against Tampa Bay. Toronto scored one in the fourth, five in the sixth, two in the seventh. Tampa Bay got one in the first, one in the sixth. As Toronto wins it eight to two, eight runs, seven hits, no errors for Toronto. Two runs, eight hits, no errors for Tampa Bay. The winning pitcher is Jose Barrios, and losing pitcher is Zach Efron. So Bichetti for Toronto went two for four, one run, two RBIs. Barrios went six innings, six hits, two earned runs, six strikeouts. For the Rays, Diaz went three for four with a run, two RBIs, and Efren went five and two thirds, six hits, six earned runs, five strikeouts. Again, the final score, Toronto eight, Tampa Bay two. All right, let's get to the next, next team, or next game, excuse me. Los Angeles Angels at Baltimore Orioles team I called a lot of games for last year. Angels scored a run in the first, two in the eighth, while the Orioles scored two in the first, three in the second, two in the fourth, one in the sixth, three in the seventh, as the Orioles went at 11 to three. Three runs, two hits, one error for the Angels, 11 hits, uh, excuse me, 11 runs, 10 hits, one error for the Orioles. Winning pitchers, uh, Corbin Burns 
And losing pitcher is Patrick Sandoval. For the Angels, Mike Trout went one for three, scored a run, had RBI. As Suarez went three and two-thirds, two hits, three earned runs, and two strikeouts. For the Orioles, Santander went one for four, one run, scored, four RBIs. And Burns went six innings, one hit, one earned run, 11 strikeouts in his opening day. As the Orioles beat the Angels, 11 to three. Okay, and we did have two games that were suspended today. That was Milwaukee at New York Mets and the Braves at the Phillies. Uh, postponed because of weather and stuff, so they'll be made up, I believe, uh, on Friday. So, and so they will make those up on Friday, I believe, because they have Friday off. So that's weather for you this time of year, right? All right. Okay, next game up, Cleveland at Oakland. Cleveland scored a run in the second, five and a fourth, two in the ninth to beat Oakland eight to nothing. Cleveland had eight runs, 11 hits, one air, while Oakland no runs, four hits, and one air. Winning pitchers, uh, Baber. Losing pitchers, Alex Wood. For Cleveland, Fry went three for four, two runs, and an RBI. Uh, Baber went six innings, four hits, no earned runs, struck out 11. For the Athletics, Bidet went two for four, and A. Wood went three and a third, seven hits, six earned runs, three strikeouts. Final score again, Cleveland eight, Oakland nothing. All right, next game up, Boston is at Seattle. Boston scored two and a third, one in the fourth, one in the fifth, one in the sixth, one in the eighth, while Seattle scored two in the fourth and two in the seventh as Boston came out winning six to four. Six runs, 11 hits, no errors for Boston. Seattle, four runs, eight hits, one error. Winning pitcher is Brand Bello. Uh, losing pitcher is Luis Castillo. And the save went to Kenley Jensen. So for Boston, Devers went two for five with a run, two RBIs. Bello went five innings, five hits, two earned runs, two strikeouts. For the Mariners, Hanniger went two for three with two runs, two RBIs. Castillo went five innings, six hits, four earned runs, five strikeouts. Again, that final score, Boston six, Seattle four. Okay, the final game on the docket, Colorado at Arizona. What a crazy game. Colorado scored a run in the second. Arizona scored two in the first, 14 runs in the third, as Arizona won 16 to one. One run, four hits, no errors for Colorado. 16 runs, 18 hits, no errors for Arizona. Winning pitcher is Zach Galen, and the losing pitcher is Kyle Freeland. So for the Rockies, McMahon went two for two with an RBI. Freeland went two and a third innings, gave up 10 hits, 10 earned runs, two strikeouts. For the Diamondbacks, Guerrero went three for five, three runs, five RBIs. And Gallon went five innings, three hits, one earned run, three strikeouts. Again, the final score in that game, Arizona 16, Colorado 1. Thank you all for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to try and do this every day. And hopefully I can get in one game a week calling the games. But we hope, hope you come back and see me. Again. Thanks for coming to the Sky to Be Show. Y'all have a great day, great night, whatever the case may be. We'll see you next time.